Okay, so we're going to talk about how to cut a straight paint line. How can you just take your paintbrush and cut up against a ceiling or a piece of crown molding and have that line look straight? It, the prep work, I would say, is, is burned on one of the most important things. So you can see previously that, that somebody taped the casing before they painted. And this is exactly what you get happen here. You get bleeding, what we call bleeding. Kind of aggressively sand both both edges and you can just run your hand down you can feel if there's any bumps there at that point we're going to take our painter's caulking we're going to be looking for about an eighth of an eighth of an inch hole here and i've cut it on an angle just take a little bit off the edge so we'll just take the the tube of caulking and lay it in with the angle pointed up and start squeezing you'll see the caulking come out and then just slowly at your own pace. Okay, so we're about to start cutting. So basically, I just want to explain this to you real quick. So again, the ceiling paint is done and the crown molding. We painted the crown molding first and let the paint bleed down into the wall and up onto the ceiling. Then we cut the ceiling into the crown. Um, again, just giving us nice, fresh lines. A lot of times people are going to complain about using the painter's caulking because they say it cracks up and turns colors. Well, that's because it's been applied and it does turn colors, UV turns it colors, but that's why we apply it, let it dry, and then we paint over it and then you shouldn't have to deal with that. So we'll go right ahead. This is going to, even though there's crown molding here, it's the same as if you had no crown molding and you were just going to cut against the ceiling because we still have this right angle here. Um, so what I'm going to do is load the brush. So I've dipped it in the paint and we're loading or, or putting paint onto the brush. As opposed to wiping off one side, just touch either side. That stops the drip, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, as opposed to going right up into the molding, I'm gonna use the wall as a palette. So I'm unloading the brush onto the wall, and then I'm gonna take and drag whatever paint I need from the wall up into the molding. I should explain to you that you'll see me bending the brush. So I'm, I'm putting, the, laying the back of the brush, of the angled brush, into the wall, and then I'm squeezing out so that I can control just the very tip of the paint up here. And then move up into the molding and slowly move across. So again, load your brush. You'll probably get eight or 10 inches of paint out of there. And you'll see I'm below the crown molding again. And then once I've unloaded, I can take and move up into the crown molding. Now, another common mistake is that when, when people are trying to cut the color up into the, the white, they'll try to stay away or not hit the molding. But the best thing to do is actually go up, let your brush hit the molding, and then run your brush along the molding the whole way. So you actually do want to hit. When you're trying to sit, when you make an effort to stay away from the molding or the ceiling, that's where, when, you, when you get this motion of up and down. 